Hello there ladies and gentlemen, Sigval here and welcome back to our video. So first up we're going to fight boss Flash here and he's got Chaos Stagon so that's something we have to work around. I did put just like Flash in the team to give me one additional fast tech hit for both EPI and Harley, mainly for Harley. But considering how much damage this man takes, I actually lost damage by putting Flash in there because it's gonna take a long ass time to die and keep in mind I did remove all the gears. Passive stats that are gonna be used in pretty much all the fights for this account are gonna be a level uh, 2 uh, Puppet of Zatanna, a level 1 Puppet of Zatanna and a level 1 uh, Talisman of Atlantis. Just for passive stats, the Puppet of Zatanna will be actively used in some fights for the bonuses it provides. Uh, but yeah, he did super move, nothing, not, not, not too much damage there. Still waiting to get my Justic Flash killed. Come on, is this it? Is this the tag where the man finally dies with 1 minute and 20 seconds left? Yeah, there we go, finally we got rid of him and Harley in there getting uh, that last hit in there and finishing uh, boss flash for good. Next up we're gonna have a fight against boss Green Lantern. It's gonna be a cleanup fight, we're going to use yet again my gearless Mr. Freeze. And we have Bane in there to get somewhat of a crit chance in there. Could get some crit chance on the talents, but I honestly couldn't be bothered to reroll the talents. So it's basically a naked Mr. Freeze, which is all only gonna benefit from the uh, artifact that he's got. We're gonna also get the supernova out with Red Hood extends the time duration and also contributes to the stacking of Mr. Freeze. And I think this is one of the first fights where I don't help Mr. Freeze out in any way, shape or form as far as the debuffs go. So we only have himself and the Puppet of Zatanna, we have no Vixen, we have nothing else that can help this man out. And we'll see how good he does with inflicting the debuffs. And he does pretty well, there we go, he's frozen. And there's nothing that he can do and we're gonna start spamming the special two now. I mean there's some stuff he can do, as I said it depends on the boss. Some of them will jump out of this hazard at points when they get unfrozen. Some of them will eventually use super move at points. And I got a super move done on myself on the main account and since this Mr. Freeze has no gears and will instantly die basically. We're not gonna risk and we're gonna tag out Red, tag in Red Hood here, tank the super move. And he took a long ass time to decide if he wanted to do the super move there, but yeah, we eventually got him killed. Again, not gonna be the best thing if you don't have the gears, but we'll do some damage, definitely. Next up, we're gonna have a Raven Zatanna fight, and we have the Puppet of Zatanna on Zatanna. I did a video about Flamethrower Zatanna in, in the last video, basically, but in this one, we're going to attempt and see how much she gets boosted by Raven's passive. And how much more damage we can do with uh, a flame short Zatanna setup. Plus the Raven stacks, obviously. We have three stacks of darkness. Keep pushing to the corner. Four stacks. I'm not gonna bother trying to combo and drop this man. It's, it's a red hood that I'm not comfortable combo and dropping people with Raven as it is. So we're better off not even attempting to. Also, no gears on Raven, though. I don't think this man's damage is gonna be high enough for that to matter unless I get randomly hit by a super move. We got Zatanna in there trying to get some stacks, trying to get some debuffs, there we go, we got the infinite power triggered. We're just gonna spend third special at this point to deal some percentage shell damage, deal some normal damage, so everything is nice. Raven in there, another special one, reset that darkness. It's a bit inconvenient that we can't do fully infinite combo with this team setup because obviously we have to tag in Raven to get her darkness stacks in there, but it's definitely gonna be more damage. Again, I don't think this is enough to make Zatanna a standalone damage dealer or to make it worthwhile to use Raven with her. I think you're far better off just using Silver Banshee plus Raven than Zatanna plus Raven, but it's nevertheless a fun team and I just had Zatanna and Raven available at the end of the fight, so why not? Why not give, give Zatanna some love? She definitely deserves it. Raven back in there, special one. I barely got this, I, I almost lost the darkness stacks. Though we're going to easily kill this man, so I don't think that would have mattered too much. Also, I don't know where we get... Oh, I think we get lethals from uh, the Atrocitus passive, because I don't have lethals on Zatanna, but she was hitting lethals, because there are red values that were not on the crit level of things in terms of damage. We had a trust to stack in there to tank the super move and we almost again lost the darkness stacks but again we barely kept them and we lost the uh, puppet of Zatanna tank and we're actually gonna have a hard time stacking it back up. I don't think we're even gonna stack it back up by the time this fight is over. 
Raven's also got the pop of the Zatanna, so she stacks some debuffs herself. Got hit here on Tagen because Zatanna's Tagen is still not fixed. As it is with the new character models. Why every single time they release a new character, it's happened with Martian Manhunter, happened with Deathstroke, the tagging doesn't work on release. They release an update and say the tagging is fixed, the tagging is not fixed, and then a second update later the tagging is finally fixed. Like, my dudes, wh wh what are you doing? What are you doing? Our special one there against Red Hood and he's gonna go down. Again, not, not sure this is gonna be a top thing or something, and my camera randomly defocused there, no idea why that happened, but it, it's fun enough to use. Now for this one, since I did the Machine Gun series, all of you asked me, do Machine Gun Jones your Green Lantern? And I understand why you wanna see this, because he actually uses a machine gun, but funny enough, he's gonna be the worst at the strategy out of all the characters that they have showcased trying this. This man can simply not keep these stacks up of Puppet of Zatanna, we have Power Girl in there to reduce the power costs, and we have Vixen in there, Vixen's gonna have the God Killer equipped, so that she applies one negative effect, and also the special two of her will deal some dot damage which applies a further negative effect and also the armor reduction that we get from Vixen's passive is gonna apply a negative effect so Vixen has got three negative effects active on the enemy when we try to activate that so all that John Stewart Green Lantern needs to do is apply two further negative effects with the specials for that to work there we go, John Stewart Green Lantern back in there and the special two. Uh, I did a little bit of a mistake here and I'm gonna try to play around that. So with Vixen, we need to ideally do first the special two and then the basic attack hits because the dot damage on the special two debuff duration is gonna be actually higher than uh, the uh, duration of the God Killer or the uh, passive. And I tried to do some hits here again and I mess up. But nevertheless, we got them reset. Let's go, special two in there. And now he doesn't have enough power to do anything. I just can't make this man work. I just can't make this work. We're eventually gonna get to a point where we get into the machine gun type of deal. There we go, finally infinite power. Special two. Another one. Another one. There we go, machine gun, John Stewart Green Lantern, but he's not gonna keep it. He lost it randomly. The damage is not good and this man is, is not gonna be able to keep doing the infinite thing. If Zatanna's puppet is bugged and you don't lose the power after not being at full stacks or at, at five debuffs, then this might be somewhat viable. This might be somewhat usable. It's, it's literally not great, my dudes. He just has a very hard time doing this. Vixen back in there, just, I, I keep trying, I'm trying hard guys, I'm trying my best here, because a lot of you guys in the comments really wanted to see this team, but this is as good as it's gonna get, sadly, I, I can't do more to make this team work better, I, I mean I could use it on the main account and put beta club on Vixen so we get two negative effects from there instead of one of the god killer, but that wouldn't change the things too much. Yes, he's just gonna lose them. And yeah, higher level Puppet of Zatanna or a bug fix on the loss of power would maybe make this team viable. But this is as good as it's gonna get. And I'm sorry if this is not really up to par to what you are expecting from this video. But a lot of you asked for this and I thought I might as well inform you that I've been trying. And this is, this is the best that I was able to come up with and is really, really not great. We're gonna kill boss Supergirl real quick here with the Batman Ninja team. I I, I hate fighting against her. She's she's a Supergirl character with the specials of Multiverse Armored Supergirl. C couldn't be a worse Supergirl character to fight, but she's gonna get demolished here by Batman Ninja Catwoman in a second. We have the Puppet of Zatan at level 2 on Batman Ninja Catwoman, obviously, giving her a ton of um, attack, basically. I'm gonna chop her ass again. And engage the combo again. And our third special. Combo dropped again. And yeah, there we go. There we go. We we got rid of Boss Supergirl quite quickly. 
And for the next fight, all blades. Remember all blades? Ever heard of all blades? Also, I should have used dark metal cards and just take flash to guarantee the crits, but I forget to do it. But we're going to have all blades confluence. Aquaman. All blades is the League Rates artifacts that was the go-to for dealing damage since the dark metal cards released. And I'm using dark metal cards on pretty much every character because it's to the point where all blades works better the lower passive stats you're gonna get from your artifacts. Uh, but th the thing is, we've been using Puppet of Zatanna on a lot of our artifacts and uh, a lot of our characters, and a lot of our characters really benefit from Dark Metal cards. But generally speaking, if you have less than two level two tier three passive stat artifacts, I mean artifacts that give you the uh, amount of passive stats that uh, you can at most get from the free artifact, I mean. Unless you have that, you're gonna do more damage with all plays than with Dark Metal cards. Obviously, unless you're using a, a team like Just Like Team or Batman Ninja Team that highly benefits from being in combat. And Kim Flan Sakuman is gonna do far more damage with the All Blades than he does with Dark Metal cards, but it's gonna be far more inconvenient gameplay, obviously, because we need to constantly tag in and out, and we need to keep in mind the All Blade stacks, and if we make one mistake, we die. And yeah, that's the Old Blades gameplay, and I kind of missed it. I, I did like the Old Blades gameplay. I think it's one of the better designed artifacts in terms of that it provides a high risk, high reward type of gameplay. Like, you're gonna get a lot out of this, and we, when it was released, you were getting the most out of it out of any artifact in the game, but there's gonna be some risk to it. And I wish they took this approach with other artifacts, making them very, very good, but very risky to use. But yeah, thanks so much for watching, like the if liked it, dislike if you liked it, and I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye!